right, so I'm gonna change things up over here. Um, I wanna be, I want this area to be a little bit more interesting. So instead of it being flat, I am gonna pop it up. I ended up ripping off one of the, the things that I put down here. What I would like to do is something like this. I'm gonna end up cutting this and I will extend it more or less to like, or maybe not, just go like this. I don't know if you can see if my hands are in the way. So uh, yeah, let's get it going. Okay, so more or less, uh, I think this is how I want this to be. So what I did was mixed up, I didn't use lightweight hydrocal, I used, uh, I guess, regular hydrocal. Mixed that, uh, threw it down, and just held it in place until it more or less held. As we go on with uh, the layout, you can see back there, uh, that's still drying. And then with that back air, with the back area right here, um, still trying to figure out what I want to do there. I'm gonna probably just put trees. I was thinking of maybe doing some kind of like cliff face, but I think that's enough with the cliff face. So yeah, I think I'm just gonna do trees, bushes, that type of thing over there. Um, <clears throat> next thing that I am gonna to have to do is I'm gonna to have to install the chimney for the electrical power plant, and then I will do the gravel yard that's here. As that's drying, I'll clean up everything and uh, get everything ready for the next phase. Left this for a couple of days and it's nice and solid. So now what we are gonna do is we're gonna get some painting. I am gonna do brown, but mainly just on the top here. I'm gonna paint this the earth color. Uh, just touch this up and around in this area because uh, the hydrocal ended up going on top of the, the, the grass over here. But I'm going to keep the way, I'm going to keep the earth colors more or less away just from the face. Only for the fact that this is um, rock, so this is going to be painted like gray, black, and white. So we're just going to focus on around up in this area, up on top, not here because this is stone up here. And then maybe around over here, just where grass and vegetation is going to grow. Okay, so for paints, what I'm gonna be using today, I'm gonna to be using this acrylic paint. It's burnt sienna. It's pretty close to already what's down down over here. I'm not gonna bust out the paint for that I used on here because it was actually latex paint, but anyway, so. I washed the, the cliffs over here with black and water. It was like something ridiculous, like five parts water, one or two parts black. And just to water down the black really well. Took the paintbrush, uh, a lot, and was actually a lot bigger than this one. And uh, just, you know, just whatever, just painted everything. What's next is gonna come back with maybe a little bit of a lighter gray just to give more highlights in between the rocks. I'm gonna use the dry brush technique and then when that's done, I'm gonna come back with white and again with uh, a dry brush technique, just uh, lightly brush the edges so that it can uh, just highlight everything. You can see here in the back that I went ahead and I temporarily installed some trees just to see how it looks. Turned out really nice. Now, if you look over here, this little, this little plastic pin that's in the bottom of the tree, I took a drill bit, just a little bit smaller than, that, than this pin and drill the hole and that way so when I push this pin into the um, into the ground it actually it's a snug fit so it holds it but again this is not a permanent solution I am gonna glue all the trees into place drilled it and just pushed it into the hole and it holds so who knows maybe I'll just probably leave it the way it is but it's alright so as I drilled you can see that there's a little bit of white area that's probably from the plastic cloth underneath um, that's all right. So when I'm ready to come back here with the with the grass and everything, I'll just pull all the tr I'll pull all, I'll pull all the trees out and I'll touch all these areas up and uh, just put the trees back and glue them into place. Again, all this area back here is all painted brown. First layer of paint on the cliffs are put down. These areas here that you can see that's very light. This is actually um, plaster. And for some reason, it's not taking in the black very much, but that's okay, because what I'm gonna come back, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna end up putting the foliage stuff 
I'm gonna glue it where all this area is just to simulate some vegetation going in between the rocks. So I had a lot of that black wash and I figured instead of throwing it out, might as well use it. Tip of the month. If you were doing your scenery with the Woodlands Scenic Blend Turf, and this is what's happening with you, you have the dark green area and you have a light green area, but you don't have any dark green blended turf. You only have this color. What's going on? Well, that's what I've been asking myself for the while now. Uh, what ended up happening was, as I was trying to seal the top with watered down glue, 50-50 mix, well, the area that I sealed stayed green. This has now been dry for about a week. So, and it hasn't lightened up. So I'm thinking what ended up happening is, is it's because I put the 50-50 glue water mix down, made it green. So what I'm gonna have to do is come back here with the paintbrush, paint on glues, do a light sprinkle of the blended turf, and then uh, I'm not gonna seal it. So hopefully that works out. There's a couple of areas up in here that I need to touch up with some green paint. That's about it. Okay. So just finished redoing everything and it's looking a lot better. So now you can see that all the colors are blending in. Uh, there's no like real dark or light patches in that weird looking way like you saw earlier. Uh, you can see the foliage that I put in the in between the crack. There's also this uh, the tree that fell down. Instead of the, the rail crew taking it away, they just pushed it off to the side. And then the grass coming down between the, the rocks there. So I also went ahead and did the gravel yard. Turned out real nice. I'm really happy with it. Uh, the only thing here is I overspilled some of the gravel. This over here is fine. It's actually closer on the back around here. It's, uh, it, it overspilled and uh, especially right here. But that's all right. I did a light coating with here with the, with the grass. So I'll come back here and I'll do like a fine, uh, I'll do another layer and I'll be a little bit more precise. Try to be a little bit more precise all the way around. But uh, nice and hard. This area here, I am leaving it. I am going to be installing uh, two lights, the T lights, one over here and another one over here. When, after I install them, then I'm, I'm going to lay down the, the gravel again. Actually, what I'll probably end up doing is maybe building up a, a little block so that way it looks like the the light posts are sitting on a sitting on a concrete block which was poured into the gravel uh, i think that'll probably look a lot better guys that is it for update number 13 i've done way too many takes on this one to try to get the ending right but it's not happening it is late i am tired i'm done i just want to go to bed guys i hope you enjoyed the video until next month for update number 14, keep on modeling. Guys, leave some comments down below if you like, and you know the drill. Later.